Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the Vote of the People, November 4, 2008. <laughs> A broken heart and just like you I've even broken a few and that joy you felt when a new love sparked my heart beats out of sync just like yours I Lindsay Robeck. And I'm Cliff Nelson. Yeah. I'm the vocalist, and he's the drummer. And Aaron Tweed is our bassist. And Damien Rolfsmeyer is our guitar player, our guitarist, yeah. Damien and I started playing together here and there, practicing in his room, and uh, decided to add a couple extra people, and pretty much went from there and mm -hmm. snowballed snowballed pretty quickly so yeah I've known Damien for 10 years and so has Aaron and so it just kind of fit Jeez, I've been listening to music since 
I was old enough to, to remember. I just always loved it. I always loved listening to it. So I started playing guitar probably about 25 years ago, 30 years ago almost. And then switched over to drums after I realized everybody plays guitar. So I mean, you know. <laughs> I've been singing since I could talk. So <laughs> I, that's, it's just a love I've always had. And I've found that it's really easy for me to create songs and so yeah, it just works out well. And I write lyrics for the band as well, so.
when we first started, I had a lot of lyrics already written. And so we just tried to fit those lyrics with some music. We all creatively help in some way with the writing. You know, I come up with a melody and Cliff will introduce a drum beat and sometimes it just happens when we're messing around in the band room and maybe I've got a sheet of lyrics and I feel like, hey, that fits. And then we'll just go from there. Yeah, that's my favorite way to do it. Yeah. <clears throat> just start playing a beat, let everybody kind of join in and then just let it go from there and mm -hmm. turn it into something. Yeah, and then we polish it. <laughs> Yeah. Polish it over a long, long, a long, long period time. of time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
practiced for a good year before we even decided to do anything live. And then once we started doing something live, then it's like, okay, now we're going to do it here. Now we're going to go there. And yeah, yeah. We started playing shows just locally. We actually ended up playing a, a festival, which was really exciting for us because we were just playing at bars for a while. <laughs> but um, we've been expanding our horizons pretty quickly, it seems. So, yeah, and we plan to keep going. We've tried to get better at our performing because we haven't done it very much and so like that's something that we're still working on and learning and it's just a it's a whole process in itself being up there and, and performing for people not just playing the music but actually being a show for people to come and see so yeah, yeah. we could stand there and go through the motions pretty easy yeah <laughs>
I think it's something that people would really enjoy if they took the time to listen to it. Um, I feel like a lot of our music actually tells a story, and especially with the way that I write the lyrics, so listening to the whole song is kind of, that's important. <laughs> and then when you get to the end of it, you've got that conclusion, and it, yeah, it's, like, it's like hearing a story, but and in a, the music. And a good yeah. rule of thumb is uh, if, you, if you hear a song and you know that if you wouldn't skip it on your own playlist, then it should, then other people will probably like it. Yeah, too. other people will probably <laughs> like it. <laughs> Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the Vote of the People, November 4th, 2008.